Hey, what's happening guys? Today we're going to do a classic circuit you should know, and we're also going to talk about one of the most important concepts in electronics, which is voltage dividers. And as you look at this circuit here, I know you probably don't see much, but there are actually two voltage dividers in this circuit. So what does this circuit do? It's just a, a simple um, light act actuated switch. The IC you see here is an LM393, which is a low voltage comparator. It's simply a specialized op amp that is specialized so that its output is digital, basically. It goes on or off. It's not analog. It doesn't ramp up or down. It just slams open or slams shut. So kind of just think of it that way. Here are our connections. We have VCC on pin 8 ground on pin 4 and we're only using one side of it so we have output 1 on pin 1 our inverting input on pin 2 our non-inverting input on pin 3 and like I said that is the IC that you see right here now if I shut the light off here over the bench and I'm going to shut off the one on the phone as well Okay, there you can see it. Let me just turn the light back on so you can see it switch off and on. So, what is going on in this circuit? I will show you. It's pretty simple. So, like I said, we have two voltage dividers going on here. All right, so let's, uh, let's connect up here. So pin 8 goes to VCC, and pin 4 goes to ground. Then we have our output over here. We have a, uh, I'll put our output over here, our current limiting resistor. going to an LED. I know all you see is my hand. I'm very sorry. Hang on a second. So here is our current limiting resistor. I use 470 ohms and this is a blue LED, although it really doesn't matter. So that goes to pin one just like that so that's everything minus our voltage dividers so our two voltage dividers the first one we have just comes off between the two rails and it goes to pin 3, I believe. Yes. To pin 3, our non-inverting input. And that is the wiper of a potentiometer. And in this case, I'm using a 50K pot. So what's happening here is we have a voltage divider. This potentiometer, this little trimmer guy right here, is nothing more than two adjustable resistors. So by running this between VCC, which is six volts, DC, I don't know why I forgot the C on the end of that, six volts to ground, we're able to select anywhere in between. So let me show you that. Here's our circuit. Bring in a voltmeter. And we will connect one side of our circuit to ground. And the other side we'll put right here at the white. This thing does not want to plug in. All right, I'll just plug it down here then. Come on, get in there. And stay. Okay. So let's jump up here so you can see everything. 
right, so. By adjusting the potentiometer, I'm changing the proportion of those two resistors to each other. So you can see, I take it all the way one way, it's all the way at 6 volts. I go the other way, and it's down to almost nothing, and the LED is switched on. So that is one voltage divider. And that is what is setting our reference point. And that is, whoops, sorry about that. So that is that voltage divider here. Now, our other voltage divider over here consists of a 10K resistor and an LDR, a light-dependent resistor. And if you look at that, you'll see the arrows are pointing in on the light-dependent resistor, but the arrows point out on the light-emitting diode. So we've created a separate voltage divider here, and where they connect together. We bring that over to pin 2, and now we have everything connected properly so we have this voltage divider here which is variable depending on the light that the LDR that's this guy right here sees then we have this voltage divider which is fixed well we fix it in place with the potentiometer so what we're doing is we are using these two pins here on the comparator, pin 3 and pin 2. And what we're saying is when the voltage on pin 2 is higher than the voltage on pin 3, turn on the output. And it's really just as simple as that. So let's uh, bring the meter back in here, and I can show you the exact same thing by coming in here and probing at the voltage divider. So now you see the voltage at that divider is 210 millivolts. And as I move my hand blocking the light, you can see it goes up to 1.4 volts. Or if I bring in a really bright light, you can see it drops down to just a couple of millivolts. So those are our two voltage dividers we have down here. I'm just going to disconnect the meter from the circuit. And I'm going to shut the light off. And now we can adjust the point that we want our light to come on by adjusting our fixed voltage divider, our reference voltage. There we go. Now it is quite sensitive, and you can control the sensitivity of it by changing the sensitivity of the potentiometer there as well. So there it is, guys. I mean, that's the entire circuit. There's our LM393 comparator. There is a variable voltage divider that is affected by, you know, whatever we want it to be affected by. In this case, it's light. Over here is a voltage reference, which is also a voltage divider, that we set to be where we want it. And that sets the bias point of this IC as to where it is going to switch over and activate the LED. I hope that makes sense to you. Voltage dividers are in just about every circuit that you will ever find in electronics. They're used to uh, set reference voltages. 
they're used to bring voltages down called bucking they're used to buck voltages for an ic like say you're running something on a 24 volt power source but this chip can only take 12 volts max it, it's the, it's not that's not the actual voltage for that so don't don't put that in your head i'm just using that as a reference we can use a voltage divider then of two equal uh capacitor or a resistor say 10k a piece boom boom we now cut our 24 volts down to 12 volts and we can feed that into a chip is that the best way to do it no but it is a way it is used and it's out there so i wanted you guys to know about it and how those things work voltage dividers they're everywhere all right guys if you enjoyed this give me a thumbs up feel free to comment share and don't forget to subscribe Big thanks to all the patrons. If you're not yet a patron, check out the link down below. A dollar a month is all we ask to help keep this channel going. That's it. I'm out. Peace.